All right, folks, Full Metal Hell here. Uh, actually, I got this controller in, I believe it was uh, yesterday, and uh, <laughs> I was actually so excited. Uh, I just wanted to do a little video for y'all showing this controller linked to the Tarantula X6. Uh, this is a W Toys V666 controller. <laughs> 666, kind of easy to remember. Uh, controller that links up to the tarantula and it's so much cooler than that little teeny tiny controller that it comes with uh this and uh this one actually if you guys can see has a uh, 40 percent 60 percent then it has 80 percent then a hundred percent where the stock controller only has a uh, 40 60 and a hundred okay i believe yeah 40 60 100 okay this one has 80 percent so what I've noticed is the 80% and the 100%, it actually increases again. So this 100% is like super high rate. Uh, oh, and something else I want to show you guys, my cool little uh, cool little modification that I did on my uh, tarantula. Okay, I left these legs just long enough where you can put like a Mobius cam up under here, you know. But not so long like they were because, you know, the stock legs, every time you land, it would always, like, fall over because they're, like, all long and kind of flimsy and skinny. Uh, oh, and the prop guards, you know. You know, a lot of people just uh, take this whole thing off and then it kind of leaves this exposed. So when you land on the ground, you end up, you end up, this ends up in the dirt, you know. The way I did, all I did was trim all these at the end and and uh left this piece on here which actually holds the light covers on so actually you know you know when you hit the ground this hits the ground instead of that hitting the ground and it keeps the dirt out of your gears anyway that's my little modification i want to show you guys but this is the thing that i was actually gonna do a range test that's gonna be an upcoming video i want to see if, if uh, this has the same amount of range as the stock controller because with the stock controller, <clears throat> it uh, it gets about 300 meters, you know, which is pretty good. Actually, I want to do a range test uh, of this controller compared to the stock one. I want to see if this gets the same amount of range as the stock controller. Uh, you know, because with the stock controller, it gets about 300 meters, which is really far. I mean, it's almost like a thousand feet. Uh, uh, not to, you know, not to get in math, so I hope I'm correct on that. But, yes, I think it is like 980-something feet. I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, I couldn't wait, actually, to do this for you guys. Uh, it was too windy earlier today. I mean, it was like 30-mile-an-hour winds, and uh, it was just not a good day to go to the helicopter field, you know, the AMA field that I fly in, because that's the place I'm going to do the range test for you guys. Don't want to do it here. Do not want to end up in the pond with my Tarantula X6 uh, quadcopter. Uh, so, here we go. I just want to do a little video <laughs> for you guys. I couldn't wait. You know something I noticed, too, besides how loud this quadcopter is? Uh, this controller is way smoother. Like, I can control the quad much smoother with this controller it's a lot easier to fly much easier much more stable too it's like uh i guess it's just because you know it fits my hand so much better you know the little stop controller was just so tiny it's like the sticks were like you know, you feel like your thumbs are, like, right next to each other. <laughs> I mean, this is actually, like, a full-size controller. I mean, it's about the same size as my, uh, let's see, my Spectrum DX6i. Let's see what mode I'm in, actually. I'm kind of curious here. Okay, I'm in 40% mode. So this is the lowest mode. And it still has a lot of, a lot of oomph. And it is a little bit windy. It's kind of blowing out my side right now. Uh, let me go ahead and switch modes. That's 60%. Alright, we're going to try 80%. Alright, 
All right. Okay, I'd say 80% is about the 100% with the stock controller, actually. All right, now we're going to try the 100% with this new controller. See, let's see what the difference is. Let me bring it back here. All right, now, all right, 100% with the WL Toys V66 controller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see the pitch here. Oh, it's pretty extreme, folks. Pretty extreme. All right. We're gonna put it back in front of us and try to get uh get an idea. Alright, let's see here now. Okay, let's try to yaw. Alright, so that's alright, forty percent, sixty percent, eighty percent, a hundred percent. Alright, the yaw does not seem to increase much though. Huh. Huh, look at that punch out. That thing's insane. <laughs> I love the tarantula egg stick. The punch out is just ballistic. For a brush quad, it's the most high performance brush quad I would say there is Been on the market. Uh, uh, let's go ahead. Alright, so, okay, I'm in 100% mode, let's see here, alright, you see that? Alright, that's 100% mode, alright, let's put her back in, let's see 80% mode, 40, 60, 80, okay. Still pretty extreme. Alright, now let's try a hundred. Yes, yeah, even more. It, yeah, so it does increase pitch and roll from 80 to 100. Alright, so 100% does increase pitch and roll. Now, the yaw doesn't seem to increase, honestly. I mean, that's wide open yaw right there, folks. That's full yaw. Alright, we're in 40%. 60, 80. Hold on, let me bring it back. All right, 80 and 100. All right, so the yaw does not increase, which with the stock controller, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go back and see if the yaw does increase with the stock controller. Uh, we're going to, you know, like I said, this was just a little quick out-the-box controller just came. You know, I wanted you guys to see it, check it out. Uh, but, you know, we are going to do a more in-depth uh flight and test between this and the stock controller but I'll tell you one thing this feels way more comfortable in my hands and it's way easier to fly with this controller it's much more stable I mean much more stable folks 
Much more stable. <clears throat> so I'll be honest with you, with that stock controller, even when it's trimmed out, it's very twitchy is the only way to, to explain the way it flies. And with this controller, it's like all that twitchiness is gone. I mean, it's, wow. It's impressive. It's impressive. Oh, I try to get them birds. <laughs> so far, the rain seems pretty good, huh, though? Because that was pretty high. <laughs> This is such an awesome quadcopter, you know. I don't know why, you know, a lot of people don't get it, you know. Uh, it's like it's like most of the views on my channel are on the uh, JXD509G, you know. A lot of the videos that I do on the Tarantula don't get a lot of views, but I still do them because I love them, you know. Because I love this quad, honestly. <laughs> this is such an awesome quadcopter. Quadcopter. Uh, it's just so much fun to fly it just puts a smile on my face you know really does it's fantastic uh well that was just a quick video folks hope you like it uh please keep watching and peace out all right folks we're back with the stock controller i just want to really see the yaw See how twitchy it is now? Okay, now it's so twitchy. Uh, this is 100% mode, too. Let's see the yaw. No, the yaw's the same. Okay. Okay, that's all I wanted to see. I was just curious. Uh, see, yeah, you see how much harder it is to fly? It's so much more twitchy, too. Yeah, it still flies the same. It's just really stu super sketchy and twitchy. Yeah, yeah, that's the only difference. Okay. Now, we just got to check range. And then, uh, I'll be totally convinced that the other controller, the WL Toys V66, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like a monster truck ad. The V66. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, then I'll be convinced that that controller is better. But as far as being much easier to fly, oh my god, it's so much. I mean, this is like your thumbs are like touching each other. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's like your cross side. Uh, anyway, okay, it's blinking. But as you can see, folks, the yaw is exactly the same. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Because it almost seemed like for a, a minute that the WL Toys controller, the yaw wasn't. Uh, all right, hold on, let's see some. Okay, so on this controller, the yaw actually increases through all three rates. Okay, that's the difference. All right, before it does crash. Okay, yep. It, she's down. All right, anyway. Okay, that's the difference. With this controller, the yaw increases throughout all three rates uh, in a 40%. The yaw is real slow, like unflyably slow. In 60%, it's a little faster. And then in 100%, the yaw is what the yaw is. The yaw, okay, uh, you know, when I say yaw, I mean the way, you know, the how fast it turns. You know, how fast it spins, okay, this way. Okay? 
so uh, in a hundred percent, in with this controller, it's the same as all four modes because there's four modes on the other controller. It's the same in all four modes with the other controller as in a hundred percent with this controller. Okay. Now, the only thing we got to check is range. If the range on the WV66 uh, controller, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that, is the same as the range on this one, then we've got a winner, folks. Because I'll tell you what, it's way easier to fly with the V66 controller than this one. This one is so twitchy, it's just unflyable almost. Uh, and that V66 controller feels like my spectrum in my hands. And it's not just the size of it. It's not just the size. It's the way the controls feel. They're much, much smoother. Much smoother. Anyway, that's it. Hope you like. Peace out.